Well, we're working on the brand new single <clears throat> for The Citizen. First one I've done this year. Uh, first one Kevin's been able to play in the studio with us. And uh, guys over here at Hybrid were polite enough to, to accept um, producing the next track for us. So that's cool. Uh, Vieira sat in live on bass. He's been a longtime friend of mine and a fan of some of my writing when he was young. And, um, and so I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to just be on the artist side of the microphone this time and let someone else um, do the legwork. So we got to experiment with a lot of amps and stuff that I've not really ever had an opportunity to plug my 8-string into. Um, I'm more of a in-the-box kind of producer um, as far as tones and stuff. Um, so we worked on a lot of different guitar layers with different guitars of mine. Being a lefty, there weren't a lot of options. Are you still left-handed, Dwayne? I am still fucking, yeah. Uh, available to me in the studio. We decided against putting an actual bass guitar on the single. And then we also cut um, a walking bass line on the 8 string through a Fender bass amp with a 15 inch and a Sennheiser ND421 in it. We did use an awesome Paul Reed Smith 7 string um, for some of the guitar texture that turned out to be great. We used Black Star amps. We used um, Fender amps. We used a custom cabinet. I talked about this cabinet all day yesterday. I was like, I really like that baby blue cabinet, man. So now we're going to do a layer with it. Yeah. We spent a lot of time on getting tones to, to match going in. Um, and we spent a lot more time making sure that the balance between the low end and the high end of my guitar parts were seamless and even to really kind of drive home the point of doing everything with the 8th string. And then there's some chimey old school like um, motown -y guitar layers. And now we're adding some super chimey guitars with this Fender head through that pretty cabinet with uh, um, Sennheiser, one of those uh, 421 mics that everybody loves. Pretty exciting stuff, so I can't wait to hear what these guys are capable of doing in the mix.